Hello everyone, it's finally Halloween! And for today's DIY, we are making these giant octopus tentacles that are literally coming out of the fireplace. So at home, I have this very, very old, slightly creepy fireplace, which I like to decorate every Halloween. As it's just temporary, I didn't want to buy expensive pool noodles. So I ended up going to the store and buying inexpensive insulation tubes. They're all the same length, but different widths. So apart from the fact that I knew I wanted the tentacles to be made out of these tubes, I had no idea what I was gonna do. I have no idea what I'm doing. So I got thinking and I got out this stand, which I use as a light stand, and that will act as a base for the tentacles. The great thing about it is I could extend it all the way up into the fireplace to make it really secure. I'm gonna be wrapping it in duct tape so I won't damage it. Right, so I've got this thick wire. Hopefully it will be strong enough to hold a very long tentacle. So I started wrapping this thick wire around the base and extended it out to make the bone of my tentacle. So here I've put three wires together to make it extra strong and I'm tying them together with a thin wire. So after battling this wire, I started thinking about how I could get the octopus tentacles to defy gravity. It was at this point where I started to regret everything. After searching the internet, I found the answer. And the answer is duct tape. Lots and lots of duct tape. So basically, I wrap the wire around the base, I extend it to the length that I want my tentacle, and then I use tape or thinner bits of wire to keep the wire together. Once my wire is ready, I tape the tubes onto the wire. I then wrap the duct tape all over the tubes. To make the suckers for the tentacles, I cut two different width tubes and I'm going to stick them on with hot glue. So here are my tentacles so far, it's giving major Stranger Things vibes. I think this would be so cool for a Stranger Things party. At this point I didn't know that I could actually wedge the tentacles onto the fireplace so they would stand up by themselves. So I used this invisible string to tie it up so that I could put my suckers on. Once the tentacles were upright, I could then glue on the suckers with hot glue. I sprayed the tentacles with clear primer and then I sprayed it with some purple spray paint and brought it inside once it had dried and bent them so that they would rest nicely onto the fireplace. So the middle one would not rest by itself. So I used the invisible string to tie it from tentacle to base. I decided to tie a piece of string around the other two tentacles as well. That just makes it a little bit sturdy in case someone knocks it. So the last step was to paint the suckers. I used a nude and a yellow and I used acrylic paint. And that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do click on that subscribe button for more absolutely bonkers DIYs and have a very happy Halloween.